Look at that homie right over there, huh? Getting ready for some Islam. Hopefully today we're going to get on some quality over quantity. Come on. You guys didn't think that this was going to be a one day, one video type of thing with one rod, one rod fishing, huh? You see what I just did there? But anyways, today is day two of my collaboration with Mike Shell and uh, i am pretty excited about today ain't gonna lie if you guys haven't checked the previous video on the youtube channel where we went to the schoolgo river explored a new area and caught a bunch of nice species right including some pretty decent bass for that area i highly recommend you to go out and check that video i'm going to leave it in the cards leave it in the description now if there is one thing that we actually learned from yesterday's fishing session that is going to be crucial for today is that Philadelphia had a cold front, right? And the water temperatures are down to high 50s. So these bass, they are really, really confused right now. They were just getting ready to begin spawning and then water temperature went down. So they're just like, whoa, what the heck's going on? So they kind of stopped, right? And then when the water temperature rises again, they're gonna go back to it and probably start the batting process. This may really be the last few days here in the Philadelphia area where you can still catch this bass, you know, during the spawning period before they actually get locked in their beds and they start batting. That being said, I took Mike here to Marsh Creek Reservoir. And like I told you guys, today is going to be way more quality over quantity. This place is known for having some beautiful and big musculunge that are pretty hard to catch. Some nice bass as well, right? So we will see. I'm bringing him here in hopes, right? That number one, we have two main objectives for today, as always, okay? Number one, we want to land some nice quality fish today. Hopefully he's going to land a big one. Now let me tell you, I'm gonna be 100% truthful with you guys in this video, because you know, you guys, my subs, my following, I don't, I don't play around. Our side quest of the day is actually to observe that dude today and uh, steal his techniques. Monkey see, monkey do. This is how we do it in the sport. The Marsh Creek Reservoir is a location in the past that I haven't really done so well over the years. So in this video, man, I'm going to be watching my homie over there very, very, you know, cautiously seeing every move that he does so that if he lands some nice fish today right depending on what he does i will be able to come back here and do it myself this is really how how you learn he is the goat when it comes to bass fishing i hope you guys realize that so that is like the side quest i'm going to be running aero tackle z spenders z crankers maybe even some inline spinners the epf swim we're going to be doing a bunch of things today and let me tell you hopefully we're going to land some nice ones so stay tuned no kidding bro i have barely started fishing and the dude is landing fish after fish right over there Let's go check what one rod got. Unbelievable, I haven't even started fishing yet and one rod already hooked one. I don't know if it is a big one or not. Dude, he's gonna flip it. <laughs> Poor fish, bro. He got it, he got it on the third try. Fun fact of the day for you all. I haven't even started fishing yet, just finished shooting my intro, I'm tying on the Eurotaco Z Cranker over here, that fella over there, one rod has already caught two fish, meanwhile, you know, and I mean, pretty beautiful ones too, so I mean, he is definitely on the bass over there, right? <laughs> I'm going to fish the drop off around over here, kind of multi-species. I don't necessarily need the large mouth bass, right? Anything that decides to show up, I will welcome it today. Go! My crankbait. One rod has actually been using a wake bait to catch his fish thus far. I'm going with a crankbait, so plan of the day, really no secret. 
cast everywhere, cover a lot of water, like I emphasize in a lot of my YouTube videos, right? Until we actually find uh, those fish. My goodness. Oh, fish on, on the Zikrenka. What we got here? Wow, first fish of the day. I guess you could call this a long distance double up. One rod. What? I just got a little yellow perch, the Perca Flavicens. I have absolutely no idea what one rod just landed. So if you guys are curious about it, you will have to go to his YouTube channel to kind of find out. I did just catch my first species of the day though, which is a little yellow perch, the Perca Flavicens. Having some difficulties here on hooking the little guy, but there we go. Let me give you guys a view of the little creature. All right, just one tiny little yellow perch fell victim to the aero <laughs> tackle Z cranker. <laughs> Back he goes. I'm still hoping, you know. I, I am using four pounds test line, so don't take me wrong, but I'm still hoping for something outrageously nice to show up. So my hopes are actually quite up that the population of yellow perch is around here because if the perch are here, there may be just some bigger game fish, right? Kind of feeding on the perch. Oh, fish on boy, it's the perch, bro. Hey, it's a tiny one, but it's a perch, bro. Yeah, this is the smallest perch of the day. Look at that. But I'm telling you, there's some jumbo ones out there, bro. There's some jumbo ones. I lost a pretty nice one on the crankbait. Yeah, it'll probably Fat. double that size, huh? Yeah, at least. Yeah, look at that. Well, you're truly the micro yes. species master. That's a, oh, a, quite a tiny one. Yeah, that's a, that's a tiny one. We're looking for its great grandfather. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So guys, uh, I've moved away from my spot. I'm not fish. I'm now walking along the dam with Leo. And he says there's a school of yellow perch that's just roaming back and forth. So I'm trying to target that with my blade bait. Maybe catch one of the bigger ones. I think if we get lucky... Oh, I think Leo's on. He might see something over here. Oh, no. I'm, it, my, my stuff is it's still sinking. Oh, it's still sinking. Okay. Yeah. It's very deep out there. It is, yeah. There's a deep ledge. There's going to be all kinds of different species out there, potentially. Catch them all. There we go. Oh, you got another one. Uh, yeah, bro. Is this cool, bro? Is this oh, cool? Yeah. Is right there in the deep. Let it sink all the way down. All the way down? Oh, I have to, yeah. And uh, okay. hopefully the big one's gonna. Oh, There's another wait, small one. Smaller, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> we still need its great grandfather, bro. But they're there, though. They're there. The school, the school is definitely there. Uh, Yellow perch the whole morning. When Marsh Creek disappoints you, that's when you go to Spillway. May the gods of the Spillway be with us. Oh, I see, it's very shallow. It's all bluegill, bro. And they're in the current too, savage. Even here, it's all bluegill. All I see is the shadows of bluegill. Oh, wait a moment, that doesn't, is that a bluegill? Oh, that, that doesn't quite look like a bluegill. Let's see here. Maybe that's a different one. Oh no, that's a bluegill. That's a bluegill. Thought it was different. Oh wait a moment, it's a red breast, bro! It's not a bluegill. That's why it was different. Okay, photo time. Little red breast. Yes, man. I thought it was different, bro. I said it ain't no bluegill, man. It's red breast. Lepomis auritus.
That's all right, dude. North side, bro. Yep. North side, the water is much shallower, just so you know. Okay. But um, yeah, no, you will see. You will see how it is. As you guys can see, one rod is taking his break over here, eating his uh, very interesting meal. How how much do you weigh right now? Again? One forty-eight. One forty-eight, right? Mm -hmm. And you eat the stuff like what every day? Like six days a week. Yeah. Oatmeal, chia seeds, walnuts, protein almond, powder. protein powder. Wow. Dude, you tell me I pack it dry. Mm -hmm. I can bring ten jars with me and sleep in my car. On if I go on a trip, I'm good to go. Wow, no kidding, oh, man. Just, just add water. Can you guys believe that? That is the secret life of one rod, one rod fishing. So yeah, we're just out here taking a break. We fish the south side of the reservoir. As you guys saw in this video, one rod landed a few largemouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides. I ended up landing just a bunch of yellow perch, the Percaflavicens. Albeit, we did hit the little spillway area down from the reservoir for a little bit. Nothing too exciting, no muskies, just a few bluegill, the Lepomis macrocetus, and a few red breast sunfish, the Lepomis auditus. So we're taking a little break now, but we actually came to the northern side of the reservoir, where hopefully the action is going to be a little bit better. I don't really hear reports of people landing muskies over here, but it is one rod's first time hitting this particular area. I have rarely fished over here before but the conditions are a little bit different as you guys can see right it is much much shallower than where we started and i'm really hoping that we will catch some different species such as crappie right look at that that is like a prime structure for crappie over there and you just never know right that's the thing with exploring it could be as good as yesterday which was the previous video on the channel on the school river or it could be really just nothing at all right so stay tuned and i guess those shall find out oh well that tree didn't really produce anything that tree is over there so we're kind of moving to the bridge area let's see if there's anyone fishing around here i don't see anybody so far man i don't know is this going to be productive hmm some days exploring is like that you know it's hit or miss Oh, dude, that's fish on, boy. That's fish on. First bite of the day here. Maybe a crappie. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, boy. First crappie of the day. <laughs> Very nice to actually come here and be able to at least find one of them, especially since the morning. We only slay the yellow perch, right? Check that out. A huh? little EPF is wearing pink. Getting the job done, son very nice very nice so we're still looking for that is lab over here though but if i showed you guys all the species in this video today this would actually be species number four so that's not bad at all you know for a day of multi-species here at marsh creek They should be right around that area there. Oh yeah, dude. They're right around there. They're schooled up. They're schooled up, boy. There could be some slabs around there. That's what the crop are doing. They're just waiting for the little fish to pass from one side of the bridge to the other. Oh yeah, man. Oh, it's a little bit bigger than the last one. It's a little bit bigger than the last one, huh? But wow, this one actually has a lot of injuries on it for some reason. Look at that, huh? But it's still very silvery. It's still very pretty. All right. Def definitely on the school right now. EPF swim. We'll try to catch that big slab. Okay. That school of crappie didn't really last that long. So let's explore a little bit this side <laughs> and see what happens little cove style area hmm. yeah, this little cove right here could be real good oh yeah oh easy fish man first cast into the little cove area right here i don't know if it was just a bluegill but 
And got that pinky PF swim, really wants it, huh? That ain't no bluegill. I think it's a little crappie. Yeah, all right. They may be schooled up in the little cove too. The problem is we haven't been able to find any big ones. So that's the main, that's the main problem, right? They're definitely chewing on it, but uh, it's all about the same size. You see that, right? So we're still looking for that slab, son. Oh, 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 oh boy. <laughs> At this point, it is just crappy dink is lay fast. I could go on and on, fellas, and keep catching them until a big one shows up. But we are running out of time. It is time for one rod and APF to get some lunch. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is 12.40 p.m. Let me tell you all something, okay? One little jar of oatmeal is not enough to tame the beast. <laughs> it is time to have some real lunch. What, you know, we're going to go get what people normally eat, right? Not those weird jars over there. But anyways, it's been such a long and exhausting day that I actually don't even remember what were the main objectives of the day, <laughs> to tell you guys the truth, right? I remember mentioning something about watching one rod, one roof fishing and kind of learning from him. And you know what? If you go to his YouTube channel and you check the video that he shot today, I think that, you know, we can learn a lot from that. The Marsh Creek Reservoir over here is definitely not an easy place to fish at all, especially when it comes to the bass, right? It was no surprise, obviously, that we didn't see any muskies today on the southern portion of the reservoir, but the bass, it's not like, I don't know. I, I don't know so much about this place, but I would assume that it is really not that easy to just come here and just lay them here and there. So, I mean, he caught a few today, which was really good. And regardless of what the other main objective was for the day, right? I used the Aero Tackle Lures, I used the EPF Swim. And in terms of multi-species, we did really good today. We landed some yellow perch, we landed some bluegill, we landed some red breast sunfish, and we finished it up pretty much dialed in on the school of crappie right over here, right? So, hey, some people will say that we didn't succeed today. I say it was a wonderful day, especially taking consideration that you guys have to remember, right? This was Mike's first time ever fishing the Mar Marsh Creek Reservoir and only my third time ever. So, I mean, would you say that today was like very successful? Anytime you don't get skunked at a new place that you've ever fished, I say it's very, very successful for sure. Wise words, wise words from the master right over there. All right, folks, we're going to go get some lunch. Hopefully there's going to be one more video with one rod in it here on the YouTube channel. I'm not so sure about that. So stay tuned. But as always, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Tight lines and take it easy. <laughs> All right, dude. All right. No pressure. Talk the talk, walk the walk. If I catch your bass within the next 15 minutes, you pay for lunch. If sounds good. Bass, then I pay for lunch. All right, sounds good. I, I'm totally down to that. <laughs>